there are several points about the movie which makes it such an important film. Christopher Nolan using techniques of his own to achieve this masterpiece. He created the scenes without using any kind of CGI special effects on any of the scenes. Creating everything realistically, being dedicated to do everything required to be as faithful to history. Casted real scientists. That's what makes his movies so interesting. His name alone is enough to awe the audience. The movie has been shot in IMAX which offers a world-class viewing experience with the involvement of high-resolution cameras and film formats. The star cast includes actors Robert Downey Jr., Emily Blunt, Florence Puff, Matt Damon and Cillian Murphy in major roles with a lot of real scientists on the side gives this movie another advantage that everything that you will see is well researched and gives that authenticity which is required in films of this genre. The movie is based on one of the most important breakthroughs in scientific advancement or as we may say first nuclear bomb was made. The term itself is enough to get anyone's attention. The movie is done just fully by showcasing the political tension while the process of atomic bomb. The first bombing was recreated. Instead of using any CGI, Christopher Nolan managed to produce the same blasting effect on the audience as the effect of the bomb itself. The controversial nude scene. The controversial nude scene of Florence Puff. It is such a disappointment that the scene was forced to use CGI black cloth over the actor's body in India and Middle East. It is completely taking away the emotion and importance of that particular moment. Think of like this. If it was not necessary, why would have the director made it like that? And why would Florence agree to do that? Indian Holy Book Controversy In that very same scene, the actor is holding a book written in Sanskrit and asking Opi to read the words, to which he responds with explaining them instead of reading the particular words. This has been taken as an insult. There is nowhere that disrespected any sentiments or done misrepresentation whatsoever. The fact alone that the book has been used in that nude scene is making a controversy. I'm not defending the film, neither I'm supporting it, I'm just stating the overall understanding of the scene. As humans we have this understanding of universe in moments like this alone when we are in a state of ecstasy or we are so vulnerable which was pictured in the film as well, it was the whole point to present it in this way. My personal favorite, this is the one, I have become death, I am the destroyer of all worlds. A figurative comparison to Vishnu as Oppenheimer is working towards building a first ever atomic bomb which ends up creating a tragedy in Hiroshima and Nagasaki killing nearly 220,000 people as reported. A war winning power on a superhuman to a human level ends up in a tragedy. Tickets being sold as high as $1400. The film is shot in IMAX 70mm and is released only in 25 theaters in that particular print in America. One Craigslist's post has revealed that 8 70mm tickets for Oppenheimer were being sold for $1400. The viewing is at the AMC Lincoln Square 13 in Midtown Manhattan. The seats are located dead center in the fourth row. The film deserves it. The legendary scientist Oppenheimer has been beaten down by his own close associate Louis Ross leading to destroy everything that he worked for. Even after being a patriot to his nation, he was accused of being a communist, an anti-national or what not. The man had been tearing to pieces day by day while justifying his acts to help America win but in the hindsight, he was losing himself. Not only his credibility was destroyed but as a man, he went through all this just because he came to self-consciousness and the fact that he has blood on his hands had made him feel guilty enough that he wanted to do anything possible to make it right. 